Tonight, Bishop Finn admits he failed to properly handle concerns raised over a year ago regarding the actions of Father Sean Radigan. This comes as former victims threaten a lawsuit against the diocese for failing to protect children. Christina Medina joins us with more on these new developments now. Christina. Yes, Mark, well, the controversy surrounding the Kansas City priest accused of pornography charges continues tonight, and some of the allegations are now being thrown at the Catholic Diocese. From a human standpoint, I felt great shame. The Bishop of the Catholic Diocese of Kansas City, St. Joseph, is talking about a letter written by St. Patrick Principal Julie Hess. The letter lays out a list of concerns against the school's former priest, Sean Radigan, who's now behind bars for child porn allegations. The letter was sent to the diocese one year before his arrest. The letter says a parent found a pair of girls' panties inside one of the planters in father's backyard, and he fit the profile of a child predator. But Bishop Finn says, he read the letter for the first time last night. All I can say is I didn't. I received a summary of the letter. Finn claims a lower level church official handled the letter and now admits he made several mistakes. In hindsight, uh, I should have asked for a copy of actual copy of the memo. And three years ago, victims of sexual abuse from other Catholic priests reached a legal agreement that required the church to report any suspicions of child abuse immediately. Now, hearing how this case was handled, former victims are angry. Many of my clients are urging us to file a lawsuit against the, the diocese regarding violating that contract. Randall also says there's now a new investigation ongoing about employees inside the diocese office looking at adult pornography while at work. Bishop, sends, Bishop Finn said he knew nothing about the new investigation. The attorneys say they have not decided if they will file a lawsuit against the church, but they are looking at their options. Christina Medina, NBC Action News.